Okay, everybody. It's up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, there's an abandoned mine shaft. Okay, so guys, I was glitching for a little bit there, but anyway, I found this really good seed. I actually spawned here on this ship, so it'd actually be a bad place to start off. So if you have the better dungeons mod, don't. If you want to, unless you want a challenge, don't use this seed. Okay. But anyway, and also, if it has a Lucky Blocks mod installed, there's one right here. And it's gonna, actually, this is gonna be our first day of mod, actually, of mob battles. And it's actually just, give me zero. Whoa. Mode zero. And then you gotta be good. There you go. Alright guys, so our first battle of the day is gonna be our first battle ever. Is actually gonna be the Sethodrone drone. drone. This is Cethodrome. Cethodrome. Okay. Alright. So, if you don't know how things are going to work, basically what's going to happen is that I'm going to fight the mob in different armors. Um. Keep. Game. Rule. Game rule. Um. Keep inventory true. All right. So this is how it's gonna work. So I get like a so I get some stakes here. So I fight the mob in different armors. So at first I always start off with no armor, and I work my way up to the strongest armors. So the next one we might have to do leather armor. And then a wooden sword, and then chain armor with a stone sword. And I will see how it goes from there. And we'll see how it goes from there. So, let's actually get this started. So we're actually going to start it off in this island. And... Spawn one and we're always gonna spawn one in. Alright? And we're gonna set game mode zero. We actually have to hit this thing. Oh my gosh, we are only doing one damage. Whoa. We just got slain by one. Patience, water dragon. to the you lost to it that was insane but first we need to go slay this thing I can't just leave it here now we're gonna try the same thing with a wooden sword And we actually really didn't need, we actually really didn't need to do anything because we actually, we actually, the thing actually slayed us. Now it's, oh, but first, if you want to know what type of spawn I got is, that's a cassowary. Yeah, now, let's do this. And it slayed us again. <laughs> oh, no. I'm actually gonna spawn a Zelda drone up here to take care of everything. Really? It's not gonna attack him? You got to be kidding me.
Okay then. Now we actually have to try this with a different stuff. Chain armor now with a stone sword. <laughs> We're getting owned by the Cephadrome. It knocks us out in one hit. I wonder if it's gonna do the same to us again. Oh, leaves us with one heart left. Whoa, that's impressive. So, so chain armor was the best idea, but it hit us for like two, two armor bars. Ha, ah, come to Papa. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. But this is what we're supposed to do. And we died. Whoa! <laughs> and I just, that was just like fail. So we all know now that chain armor doesn't work that well. All right then. Looks like we're gonna have to go with diamond armor, diamond sword. And this is actually kind of like a survival situation here. So if you have full diamond, I think you need at least full diamond to fight this guy, I think. I think. All right. Come to Papa. Yep. He actually needed something better than diamond to fight this thing. He actually took me down three. Oh, wow. Look at that. Took a lot of armor bars. Whoa. Okay. So my village is raided in Clash of Clans. Am I here to sound any? Yep. There you go. Yep. There you go. Now. You actually, now you know, you actually, oh, wow. Well, you need something better than diamond. Oh! getting some stuff well we got raided by a lot of people all right he actually might Actually, never mind. Um, sorry, been looking at this screen for a long time. Whoa. Okay. So now I need something better than diamond, actually. Actually, I'm just gonna lower the volume because you know. Um, let's try this. If amethyst armor, because basically um, am emerald armor is basically the same thing. Uh, amethyst armor, I amethyst sword, but before we do that one. And our last resort is bedrock armor and a bedrock sword. Uh, but before that, we're actually going to use the experience helmet and armor. Why? Because they have protection and chance on them. Protection 2 on every one of them. And the experience sword does 10, but has sharpness and unbreaking on it. So we're going to use do that armor. And we're actually going to go fight the Cephadrome. So, and it'll basically give you like an idea on what type of armor you need to fight one of these mobs. At least what kind of armor. So we'll spawn in another one because I think the other one spawned. And I'll start it. Let's do it. Oh, it turns out you do, you need at least this kind of armor. Oh, 
you need at least experience armor. But the thing is, is that the thing is, it has intense knockback right there. All right, come to Papa Savage Room. Ah, the thing keeps knocking me back. Ah. Uh. No, <laughs> it knocked me into the ocean. The last thing you want to happen. And we're actually going to let it go tonight. Alright, we're slowly taking it down. Wow, did you see that? It knocked me out of the water. It's regenning. But, it but notice how if the battle takes way too long... We're gonna have to move on to a different armor because it'll take too long, but we don't know at least you need at least that kind of armor and weapon to fight it. Alright. Yeah, this might take a little long this might take a long time. So this might take a long time. So what we're gonna do is set mode one we're gonna set it to time set 1000 and we're actually now gonna try with amethyst armor we're gonna do it with amethyst armor and then Next, we're going to use the ultimate sword and everything. And now we're going to set it back to game mode zero and fight it. Wait, let's let it regen, actually. Uh, you know, just game mode one. I'm just going to go slay it. Now if you're wondering what it drops, it drops a lot of ruby stuff. So you need ruby stuff like the ruby pickaxe. There you go. There it is. You can have it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that one had unbreaking on it. Okay. The bedrock set is our last resort. One more. There's a new one in there. And then zero. All right, let's do this. Oh, we took two hearts from that. Plus fall damage. Luckily, we didn't take that fall damage, because that would have been fatal. Whoa. Oh. Guys, actually, one more hit. We need different, we need a different sword. We need, we need a different armor, like ruby or something. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> One more hit, guys. One more hit. And then we are dead. This time we spawned in here. Guys, the Sethodrome is not the thing to mess with because it used to be the strongest mob in Ore Spawn. So you might not want to mess with that. Now, the next one is gonna be, well, we have no choice. The ultimate set. We are gonna use the ultimate set. So guys, please leave a comment and subscribe if you want more videos like this and I'll keep them coming. And we'll use the ultimate sword. Let me get the bedrock one ready. The bedrock mm -hmm. sword ready. 1,004 damage. But then, note, note to you guys that Aura Spawn prevents something like that. Like, everything being so peed on the mob so it doesn't, like, it's not easy to kill. So, we are actually going to go use it anyway. Because it, it does a lot. Ooh, guys, we actually might win. Although... Although the knockback is hard to deal with. Whoa. And that suddenly lo regained the durability. Whoa. Ugh. We, de we deal 24 damage to him. 
All right, we need a couple more hits. All right. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. No, it's knocking us back. It's not a good thing. No. Ah, uh, stop knocking me back. This might be the comeback here, guys, for um, Cethodrome. It's regening. And, guess what? It's also knocking me back at ridiculous and ridiculous. Oh, no. Not again. He's going for me. Never hit first. No. We actually might have to resort to doing this, guys. All right. Gonna sneak up on him. Oh, no, no, no. He uprooted me. Oh, no, he's regenning, guys. He's going for it. He's going for those. Guys. No. He had to go get to those ink, guys. All right. Let's do this. Ah, come here, Papa. Oh, we hit it. We hit it. Finally hit it. But you need at least ultimate armor to fight this thing. I think the Sethro Drum's going for those ink, ink, those squid guys. Oh no, knocked me so far away. I think we need to do this. I think, I think we actually might need to use game mode one. But it's possible to kill this thing. Just don't, just don't let it be in the water, though. Possible, though. Possible. And just for, just for further notice, there you go. Yeah, that might be a little bit OP. You're probably all like right now, a little OP. Optimus, you're out of you're out of your mind. And then he also drops the thunder staff. And enchanted ruby stuff. So you really need it. Then there you go. Now, the last one is bedrock armor. And I have tried this around TNT. I have I have, I've had it blown up on me before. You're not affected by it. If you don't know the bedrock tools, they have Tons of durability. When I mean by tons, I mean like one million durability. Not joking. I'm not joking, guys. All right, let's do this. See, look, count the zeros right now. You use it too, though, but the armor is really good. One million right there, counted. One million. Count it, guys. One million. The armor is ridiculous. Look at it. That is hundred and... That's 16 million damage. No, not damage. Armor par par bars. That's insane, guys. That's insane. Bedrock stuff you don't want to mess with. Bedrock stuff, pretty hard to get pretty hard to get but it's all worth it in the end I mean this thing is impressively like oh my gosh it's like it's like the G sword but it's more durability and much better but still I wouldn't recommend using this sword on the Godzilla I haven't really tried that yet but this I mean, this armor actually makes you blast resistant I think so but it does use durability though I think it does. I never really got to explore the mod, but there is bedrock tools. So, guys, we all know the cephalodrome is cephalodrome is very powerful. The cephalodrome is very powerful, and it's a thing you must not mess with because you know, you know, because it's very powerful. You don't want to mess with it. We'll just spawn in a bunch of cephalodromes here. Oh, 
We'll just spawn them spawn in a ton. We just spawned in like a couple here. We just need a ton. And what I mean by a ton, I mean I can knock them out in, all in one hit. Dot dead dead dead. I mean look at that. Oh my god. And right now, I'm actually gonna go defeat all those guys on that pirate ship. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. It's impressive. <laughs> we just one hit him. You just you can get like a full set of ruby without actually finding ruby. And then there's a ruby sword for you guys. There you go. Ruby sword. But this bedrock sword's even more OP'd. So if you have the Bedrock mod installed, there you go, here it is. And then you can also get it enchanted too as well. That one has a projectile on it. Is that a diamond? Oh, they have a chance of dropping diamonds, didn't know that. That's Aphrodite, not diamonds. Guys, I think that's it for today, but guys, just another channel update I might actually put, some of you guys might be requesting the mods I use in my modded survival, I'm actually going to list them in another video. I'm going to actually list them in another video because, you know, like, not now. It's, I'm about to wrap up the video. But you guys sometimes want the mod pack. You want the mods. So, I can tell you all the mods, but, you know, I need their permission. But... I'm not, I'm going to make, call it, like, it's a mod pack, but I'm not putting it up for download. I don't even know. Alright then, um. It's battle day. Alright. So guys, that is it for today, so please leave a comment and subscribe and like the video if you want more videos something like this, and I'll see you guys later.